seriously, how long does it take a horse to move? Well, while you're sitting here waiting, I'm going to go over here and talk to these people. Hi folks, welcome to this edition of PC's Take, where we will be reviewing the movie Secretariat, directed by Randall Wallace, starring Diane Lane and John Malkovich. Secretariat, the true story about the horse that won the Triple Crown, the fastest horse ever, as it's been built. Again, this is a true story about Pam Tweedy and how she came to be the owner of Secretariat through her struggles and through her difficulties. Again, you can't help but root for her character and those surrounding her. Again, John Malkovich in this movie plays a character that, well, like all John Malkovich characters, a little eccentric maybe in his dress, but more also the comic relief as he plays the horse trainer. Again, what's great about this movie is it's a movie that I think all families can go to, young and old. Language wasn't a problem, nor was there inappropriate scenes, but uh, it's also a good history lesson for you as well. Take you back to the late 60s, early 70s, and the times that were going on in, in our country, as well as something to cheer for and something to root for in that horse called Secretariat. If I were to take a Christian perspective of this movie, again, those of you that are watching or those of you that go and see the movie, you're going to see as soon as the lights dim, you're going to hear Diane Lane's voice and she starts to quote from the Bible, the book of Job. And if you recall Job and his sufferings, we think about again the sufferings that the character in this movie went through to uh, get what she had to accomplish, what she accomplished through the horse. I think about for us as Christians, the struggles that we go through. I know at Nax it says that we all have to go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. And if you think about it in this respect, instead of looking at your hardships as maybe God punishing you or something like that, think about it as God using those hardships to make you stronger, to rely on him, and maybe even to have you help somebody else who's going through something very similar. Again, I think this movie has a lot of the, uh, the, the core themes that you're going to look for for a family, someone that goes through struggles and uh, someone that overcomes. But for us, we think about, again, what the Apostle Paul said when he talks about running a race. If we're thinking about horse racing, we think about the race that we all run, and we keep our eyes on that finish line, on that prize, uh, which is heaven, and that's ours by faith. I know everybody's anxious to hear what I'm going to give this movie. As I said, when I went to the movie theater, I could tell it was a family-friendly movie. There were grandparents to the right of me. There were parents with their small children to the left of me, and just people of all ages. So it's a great family movie. So I'm going to give it four Elmer's Glues. All right, four popcorns. Is it your move? Let's go. Come on. Don't got all day. Positive. All right. You win. You always do. Well, my friends, this is it. Signing off from PC's Take. Again, where I'm reminding you as you run your race of life to always keep your eyes focused on the prize. No matter what hardships you have, stay close to God. And don't ever play checkers with a horse. Seriously, how long does it take a horse to move?